corner of Hector Camacho, although Edwin Rosario did receive a pretty good round of applause. You can look for Rosario to try to put pressure on Camacho from the bell in the hopes of using him up and slowing him down for the second half of the fight. There was some thought in Rosario's camp that because of all the training, chopping wood and that sort of thing, upper body building that Camacho did, that he may slow down in the later rounds. No, I, I disagree with that. I think the fact that he's only stronger, he's not heavier, so his mobility should remain the same. I have never seen Camacho slow down in the later rounds. You saw Rosario kind of point to his ear. Perhaps he thought that Camacho butted him. I'm not quite sure what that was all about. Both fighters came at the same time with the heads, and uh, it was an accidental head, but unfortunately there was no damage. Here Camacho is on his bicycle, using his jab, and pretty much utilizing the ring. With uh, Rosario, Rosario trying to cut the ring off, because Rosario is better inside. He's a better inside fighter. He's a very good counter puncher, too. What he's going to have to do, Barry, is slow the movement down of Camacho. Good body shot by Camacho. Both guys respect each other's punching power. Left hook by Camacho. The way Camacho fought Jose Luis Ramirez to win the title was get in, punch, punch, get out. Well, the key to beat uh, Rosario is, is beat him to the punch and stand outside. Staying mobile. You can't stand and exchange punch for punch. These guys are really going at it. So um, this first round, anything can happen, Barry. They both are still a little tight. That's why you see both fighters uh, somewhat reluctant to throw a punch. It has been said that Rosario has had problems with what his camp called tricky fighters. Watch for the left hook of Rosario because of the way he's positioned himself, he's trying to get that hook in. Good left hand by Camacho. He caught Rosario off balance. Now, one thing about Rosario, he has experience. So normally when Camacho throws his punches, Rosario cover up and try to spin his opponent. There is some talk that Rosario may have a suspect chin. You see the way Rosario covered up very well there. Very good defense. Henry Ramirez, he made the mistake of uh, trying to punch too soon and wearing himself out. Here he's very patient. Trying to cut the ring off of Camacho. Camacho's very fast hands, very fast feet. Always keeps his balance. And a good left hand again. That one got Rosario's attention. We will remind you that it is possible that both corners may speak in the Spanish language. Rosario's will for sure. And we have Tito Alba in the corner to translate at the bell. That was a good round for Hector Camacho. As the challenger was trying to time his movement and trying to hit him on the move at which he is usually very good. Wait, give me the best thing. But usually he doesn't have Camacho in front of him. This shot, this shot. We almost got him. Keep him boxing. Move, move, move all the time. All the time, move. Speed down. Get the body now, okay? Get the body now. He's already hurt, okay? Take your time. Move. There you see Camacho and with that fast hands darting in. A tentative right jab followed by a very good left hand. There it is once again. Amazingly quick reflex. You have to use the combinations before he does. What a lot of us would like to see, Ray, is what happens when and if Rosario can land a good punch. Well, Rosario has to get his punches in a lot faster. He has to be first. That was a good right hand. Did too much, do too much damage. Camacho gives a lot of head punches. That's exactly what they said in Rosario's corner, and right now, Rosario not able to heed that advice. Rosario has, he starts off very slow. And here, with, because of Camacho uh, uh, great speed, he can't afford to stay on the outside too long. He needs to get inside. When we talked to him, he said he was not in great shape for the Ramirez fight. He figured he had to go out and knock him out because he didn't think he could go the distance, and he himself got knocked out. He said he wasn't in top condition for the Howard Davis fight. And he's won a very narrow decision in that fight. 
Rosares has a few problems with his wrist, and uh, he says as well now. He's given enough rest. Another right hand by Rosario. But again, it caught Camacho backing up. Trying to cut the ring off Rosario. It's difficult sometimes in to, trying to slow down a mobile southpaw because it's tough to get inside. Dig a lot of hooks to the body, to the midsection of the southpaw. Works very well. Rosario would have to time Camacho's punches. Every time Camacho throws a jab, he needs to step inside and get his punches off. Another very quick left hand by Camacho. Darts in, sticks in, steps out. Also, I feel that Camacho's a little too elusive up, upstairs, so Rosario needs to go to the body to slow down that movement. Counter-punching right hand by Camacho, behind the right hand by Rosario. Rosario got Camacho in the corner for a second, but Camacho got away. And another good left hand, and it stunned Rosario. Camacho at times dropped that right hand, and that's why I'm looking forward to a hook from Rosario. Rosario has a very solid, very uh, powerful left hook. It's the left hook he's been able to put a lot of opponents down. And a five punch combination. Four jabs and then a left hand. Hey, hey. Stop holding, stop holding. And Arthur Mercanti warning Hector Camacho to stop holding. That's something that has gone on throughout the career. Of Hector Camacho. Earlier tonight, another fight on this card. Mike Tyson continuing his rampage through the heavyweight division, beating Reggie Gross in one round with a big left hand. And we should point out that contractually, HBO is not allowed to show so much as a highlight of that fight. <laughs> 